Why is pink for girls and blue for boys? Blue is for boys and pink is for girls. That is what we have been told. It's normal to be puzzled by the idea that in the 21st century, we are still bound by these gender norms. So how did pink become a girly color and blue became boyish? Was it culturally constructed over the years or it actually depicts the biological difference? Let's find out in this video. Boys and girls wore white first. Before the shift towards pink and blue happened, all children had worn white dresses. According to the research by historian Joe Pauletti, it was found that children used to wear gender-neutral clothing. It was more practical because white was easy to bleach. After they turned 7, they started adopting clothes similar to their parents and guess what? That is when they got their first haircuts. Pink for boys and blue for girls. According to Pauletti, pink for a girl and blue for a boy social norms was during the 20th century in the United States. In the early 1900s, the published articles, baby announcement cards and baby books indicated that the color pink can be published for any sexes. However, the trade magazine for baby clothes manufacturers emphasized that pink is the boys because it was a stronger, bolder color. On the other side, blue is for girls because it was more delicate and dainty. Some other publications suggested that the color should be based on a baby's eye color. It was a matter of debate at that time to decide the color, mostly between pink and blue. The first pink-blue divide came after World War II. By the end of World War II, the gender division was promoted that included different clothing and fashion for males and females. By the end of 1947, popular fashion designers like Christian Dior encouraged post-war clothing for women with pastels and soft colors and feminine pink. This is how it all started which made a tremendous change in the fashion industry. Breaking the tradition Baby clothing manufacturers got settled with pink for girls and blue for boys by the 1950s. Baby boomers were advertised wearing two colors. But in the 60s and 70s, women's liberalization movement kick-started to put a temporary end to gender-specific colors and more unisex baby clothes came into style. This dressing idea made a comeback in 80s after the manufacturers marketed for pregnant parents. Once they find out whether they are having a girl or boy, they can stock the baby clothes with specific colors. This marketing style did wonders to them as many expecting parents showed up. Moreover, the change can also be seen when women stopped going to work and became homemakers. That is when they became the symbol of feminism. Over the decades, girls were asked to dress like boys in order to be taken seriously. The debate is long, but one thing is for sure, it is not related to biological reasons. It is time we also break the tradition and go back to gender-neutral clothing again. Thank you. Hello guys, the ebook for the month of December is available on our website. Get an exclusive discount of 30%. Use the code CFA30.